ਇਕੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਪੁਰਖ ਨਿਰਪੋ ਨਿਰਵੈਰ ਅਕਾਲ ਮੂਰਤ ਅਜੂਨੀ ਸਪੰ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਸਤਿਗੁਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਾਜੀ ਨਿਵਾਜੀ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀਓ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਰਚਨਾ ਪੁਰਤ ਕਰਨੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੀ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਤੋਂ ਸੁਖਮੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੀ ਬਾਣੀ 15ਵਾਂ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਤੇ ਅਸ਼ਟਪਦੀ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਮੇਨਲੀ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਰੋਤੇ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਸਮਝ ਸਕਦੇ ਆ ਨੌਜਵਾਨ ਸਾਡੀ ਨਵੀਂ ਪੀੜ੍ਹੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝ ਆ ਸਕੇ ਸੋ ਦਾਸ ਖਿਮਾ ਦਾ ਜਾਚਕ ਹੈ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਆਫ ਦੀ 15th ਅਸ਼ਟਪਦੀ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ਲੋਕ ਆਫ ਸੁਖਨੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ which was composed by the 5th guru nanak dev ji tan tan guru arjan dev ji maharaj the theme of the ashtapadi and slok is that god is supreme and beautifully god takes care of everyone chinti te kunchar asthula ਸਭ ਪਰ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਦ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਟ ਕਾ ਫੂਲਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਫਰਮ ਦੀ ਸਾਈਜ਼ ਆਫ ਐਨ ਐਂਟ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਐਲੀਫੈਂਟ ਵਾਇਗਰੂ ਹੈਸ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਡ ਐਵਰੀਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਟੇਕਸ ਕੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਐਵਰੀਵਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਟਰ ਆਫ ਫੇਥ ਜਿਸ ਕੇ ਅੰਤਰ ਵਿਸ਼ਵਾਸ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਆਇਆ ਤਤ ਗਿਆਨ ਤਿਸ ਮਨ ਪ੍ਰਗਟਾਇਆ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਭਰੋਸਾ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਗਿਆਨ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤੀ ਹੋਈ those who have faith they will realize this glory of akal prakh vaigru they will realize the power of vaigru's protection and existence looking at the current affairs violation of human rights which has been the issue right from day 1 of the creation it is all vaigru's game namo kalah karta namo shant rupe vaigru at his command starts the disputes the wars and namo shant rupe the idea is to bring the shanti to bring the peace it is peak and troughs that everyone is going through in 1984 and 1978 and well before even 1947 when there was partition of india and pakistan there was clear violation of human rights by the british we can't blame british it is the individuals after the partition the people living in india and people living in pakistan they violated the human right there was abuse people looted each other they killed each other they were not terrorists they were human beings who under the influence of temptation they committed the crime we all know that in 1984 there was clear violation of the human rights clear viola- violation and for that indian government is answerable they are admitting now it was their fault because you know when you want to take any military action or any police action there has to be justification and clarification so you can be protected but there is no protection for what indian government did at the time they are in authority but today's topic is god is supreme God's authority and justice holds true at all times and no one can escape the verdict 
Now this uh, violation of human rights and the abuse can happen against the countries. It can happen against the race. For example, if we go back, human rights for, for the Jews was violated by Hitler. And Sasangaji, because Vaigru's divine laws, Vaigru's authority prevails and holds true, today Jews are the most prosperous race. They are doing well in their fields. Why? They are very sincere to their path. Now, narrowing down the violation of human right, the abuse can happen in, at a domestic level as well. A lot of women, wives are being abused by husbands. And there are some cases where husbands are being abused by the wives, where son is abusing the father, father is abusing the son, and so on. We can carry on. Everyone who has opportunity but doesn't have the divine wisdom is likely to abuse. But one must be very careful because Vaheguru is watching everything and Vaheguru is in authority. And Vaheguru can do anything and in an instant. People who were kings and emperors, they will become beggars. Pekhari te raj karava, raja te pekhari. Vaigru has so much immense power that right from the beggar, he can make that beggar into an emperor. And the person who is emperor starts begging. So it's a message for the authorities, people who have power, to be very careful how they use their power. The main cause of disputes is ego. If we want to look at the simple definition of ego, it is basically ignoring the supremacy of God. When someone takes things in his own hand. And this is the reason for sufferings. This becomes the reason for disputes. Tantan Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj created the Khalsa who was supposed to be egoless, who had merged with the Creator, who was representing Akal Prakh Vaheguru, Khalsa Akal Prakh Ki Fawz, Prakteo Khalsa Paramatam Ki Moz. The idea of creating the Khalsa, Khalsa means the pure ones who follow God's rules, who maintain God's kingdom. The idea of creating Khalsa was to end the tyranny, injustice. So we'll begin with the slok for the 15th Astpadi. Every Astpadi is preceded by a slok and then there is Astpadi. Astpadi has eight different parts of the Shabad. That's why it's called Astpadi. Ast means eight. Padi means the parts. Sarab kala par pur prab. Birtha janan har. Chanka simran udriya. Nanak tisbali har. Kala means power. Sarab means all the powers. God possesses all the powers. Overflowing with the intelligence and power and the wisdom. Birtha Jananhar. Birtha means pain and troubles. He knows and understands the pains and suffering of all the living beings, which Vaigru has created himself. There is a way to come out of the sufferings. That is to have the relationship with Akalprak Vaigru and very intimate relationship where you can communicate with Vaheguru. Jankai Simran Udriya. Simran means to remember, to talk to Vaheguru, to have your intimacy with Vaheguru. Udriya means emancipate. 
ਨਾਨਕ ਤਿਸ ਬਲਿਹਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਇਜ਼ ਐਵਰ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰ ਬਲਿਹਾਰ ਮੀਨਸ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਓਨ ਟੂ ਥੈਟ ਆਲ ਮਾਈਟੀ ਗੋਡ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਪੋਜੈਸਰ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਦੀ ਪਾਵਰਸ ਨਾਓ ਬਿਗਿਨਸ ਦੀ ਅਸ਼ਟਪਦੀ ਟੂਟੀ ਗਾਂਡਨ ਹਾਰ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਨੋਟਿਸ ਦੀ ਵਰਡ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਇਟ ਹੈਸ ਹੋੜਾ ਓਨ ਟੌਪ ਆਫ ਗੱਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਹੈਸ ਓਂਕੜ ਅੰਡਰਨੀਥ ਨੋਰਮਲੀ ਦੀ ਵਰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਗੋ ਮੀਨਸ ਅਰਥ ਪਾਲ ਮੀਨਸ ਟੂ ਨਰਿਸ਼ ਦੀ ਨਰਿਸ਼ਰ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਆਲ ਬੀਇੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਰਥ ਬਟ ਹੇਅਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਹੈਸ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ਼ਨਲੀ ਪੁੱਟ ਓਂਕੜ ਅੰਡਰਨੀਥ ਗੱਗਾ ਸੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਨਾਂਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਟੂਟੀ ਗਾਂਡਨ ਹਾਰ ਗੋਪਾਲ ਸਰਬ ਜੀਆਂ ਆਪੇ ਪ੍ਰਤਪਾਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦੀ ਚੈਰਿਸ਼ਰ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਹੋਲ ਵਰਲਡ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਸ ਦੀ ਸੈਪਰੇਟਡ ਵਨ ਟੂਟੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਦੋਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਡਿਸਕਨੈਕਟਿਡ ਡਿਸਜੋਇੰਟਡ ਫਰਮ ਅਕਾਲ ਪ੍ਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਰਬ ਜੀਆਂ ਆਪੇ ਪ੍ਰਤਪਾਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਨਰਿਸ਼ੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਚੈਰਿਸ਼ੇਸ ਆਲ ਇਜ਼ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਬੀਇੰਗਸ ਵਿਚ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਹੈਸ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ what is that union when child is born child's conscience is connected with the vai guru guru maharaj reveals in the bani that in mother's womb child is connected child's conscience is connected with the shabad maat garbh mein apan simran de their soul is connected with vaheguru but what happens is when child is born looking at the maya looking at the material that live that connection is broken live chhudki <coughs> lagi trishna maya amar vartaya par akal purakh vaheguru his wish is that every soul vaheguru has created should be connected to himself like shabad the divine word so vaikru can only help us to connect with himself then we get wiser trouble free we become strong intelligent sagal ki chinta jis man mahe very important some people say vaikru doesn't care about me i'm suffering the answer is have you got that intimate relationship with vaheguru are you doing simran guru maharaj reveals that vaheguru takes care of everyone sagal ki chinta sab man mai vaheguru worries about everyone tiste birtha koi na hai those who remember him they never waste away their effort to be with him their effort never goes in vain now this is a address to the mind re man oh my mind oh e re man mere sada har jap always meditate forever on that lord meditate means to walk in his will to walk in his hukum follow his hukum follow his will ab nasi prab ape aap ab nasi mene imperishable immortal god is imperishable everything that is created by god is perishable for a reason why who knows what the reason is but simple reason i can think up of is why guru creates new beings every time if our forefathers and ancestors never died we won't have room to live in a house because there is a limited space but also there is a reason that no one is above god god is only immortal but if we really try and dig deep no one is being born no one is dying na kich janma na kich mara apan chalit aap hi kare no one is being born no one is actually dying this is all god's play 
but we can feel someone is born, we celebrate, someone has died, we mourn about that death, we feel it as human being. But Gurbani reveals the truth that people are born at Vaigru's will. People leave this world at Vaigru's will. But no one is dying, no one is being born. It's just the soul that remains immortal all the time. Soul is always there. It takes the next form, next physical form. But the idea, the objective of this life is not to enter in the womb again, not to take next physical form again. Just be like Vaiguru, become the Shabad. Satgur ki bani sat sroop hai, gurbani bani hai. Gurbani is word, word of Akal Prak Vaiguru. So Guru Maharaj reveals that Vaiguru's true form is gurbani. Satgur ki bani sat sroop hai is this roop of the true Vaigru. Gurbani bani hai, we have to become like Gurbani. We have to become the word. We represent the word. Abhanasi prab ape aap, imperishable Lord is himself, all in all. Vaigru takes his own decisions. He plans his own game. Vaigru won't go to anyone to take any advice. If Vaiguru wants to give, Vaiguru gives without consultation. Vaiguru doesn't need to have any meeting. Like people in this world, in the companies, in, in the gurdwaras, religious institutions, in the families, people meet together to decide what action needs taking. Because Vaiguru is ultimate authority, Vaiguru doesn't need to take anyone's consultation. Vaiguru is all wise, almighty, all doer. If someone tries to exercise his or her free will, maybe can do something. But eventually, it's Vaigru's authority. If we have free will today, it is again Vaigru's hukam based on our karmas. Some people who have done good karmas, they are very, very fortunate. They have wealth. They have very, very comfortable living. But the trick is, you have to keep your account absolutely packed up. Don't let your account replenish. When I say don't let your account replenish, keep serving God. Keep in God's will all the time. So your account is always topped up. Jeso prani loche koe, even if the mortal tries very, very hard to go in his own way, that person can go certain way and then is bound by Vagru's hukam. Tis bin nahi tera kich kaam. Without Vagru, without our creator, there is nothing else which is going to be of any use. Gat nanak jap ek har naam. So how is salvation achieved? Salvation means that one becomes above the effects of pain and suffering, happiness and joy. One rises above the, the effects of slander and praise. One is not tempted by the material. That's called salvation. Such a person is so fortunate that lives in this world. Material serves that person. But that person is always detached. Is never clinging on to the material. That's called gat, salvation. Gat nanak jab ek har naam. But that's only possible when we meditate on one God's name, his glory, his character, his virtues, and become like him. Now, there are a lot of people who think that by having riches, by having a very, very beautiful look and appearance, they can impress God, 
ਬਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਾਜ ਰਿਵੀਲਸ ਰੂਪਵੰਤ ਹੋਏ ਨਾ ਹੀ ਮੋਹ ਹੈ ਵਾਈਕਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਇੰਪ੍ਰੈਸਡ ਬਾਈ ਸਮਵਨਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਸਪੈਰਿਟੀ ਔਰ ਬਿਊਟੀ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਸ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਫ ਵਾਈਕਰੂਸ ਲਾਈਟ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਐਵਰੀਵਨ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਸਪਰਿੰਗ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਕੀ ਜੋਤ ਸਗਲ ਘਟ ਸੋ ਹੈ ਸਗਲ ਘਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਐਵਰੀ ਹਾਰਟ ਜੋਤ ਮੀਨਸ ਲਾਈਟ implying power because because of vigorous power in every heart one is prospering so why to have that pride give all the credit to god for everything you have in your life that's the message tanvanta hoye kya ko garbha if someone is tanvant tanvant means very rich never be proud of that why should we be proud of our riches because ja sab kich tiska diya darb hai all the wealth darb is given by god if vaigru takes back everything vaigru has given us will be left with nothing have humility be grateful to vaigru what vaigru has given you and that is the way to prosper in your life spiritually be peaceful now guru maharaj talks about the warriors who think they are the great heroes wrestlers great warriors like hitler orangzeb they were proud of their power and authority at sura je ko kahawa sura means great hero great warrior if someone calls himself a great warrior prav ki kala bina kehta va without vaigru's kala without vaigru's power he can't be a warrior that vaigru just needs to take that breath away then it will be just ashes ashes will meet the ashes air will meet the air water will meet the water je ko hoye bahadatar amazing those people who think they are the givers they are very charitable tis den har jane gawar the den har the ultimate giver vai guru considers that person as gawar the greatest fool because sabna jiyan ka ik data so main visar na jaye why guru is giver to the emperors and the kings and the rich people and, and if a rich person thinks he is charitable and he is giving all this money and resources to the needy is the biggest foolish in the end guru maharaj reveals the truth remember pride and ego means not considering or acknowledging vaigurus supremacy but having that humility having that understanding comes from the guru and guru's kripa so guru maharaj reveals jis gur prasad tutai ho rog the proud and the ego is a disease nanak sojan sada arog with guru's kripa the disease the chronic disease of ego departs nanak sojan sada arog that person becomes disease free becomes very very peaceful and remains in bliss satsang ji very very horrible diseases like cancer they come to an end when person dies all the cancerous cells they die as well but the disease of ego is chronic even if the body dies the ego still stays in the mind with the soul that is why guru maharaj emphasizes again again and again 
that keep away from the ego. Don't be proud of your faith. Don't be proud of your spirituality. Don't be proud of your riches. Don't be proud of anything. Consider yourself feet dust of all. Sarab ki rain jaka man hoe. Koho nanak taki nirmal soe. Rain means feet dust. Sarab ki rain jaka man hoe. In whose mind there is so much humility, he remains like feet dust of, of all. Koho nanak taki nirmal soe. That person has amazing and supreme reputation. Soe means reputation. So, if we are to sum it up now, that God cares for everyone, works in everyone's life, and the purpose is to bring his own children, his own creation close to him. Tuti Gandanhar Gupal, Sarvajiya Ape Prithpal. So, all that live, which is broken from Vaheguru, Vaheguru ties it back, helps to build that relationship again, it reminds again and again that do not forget your Creator. God is supreme power and full of intelligence. God doesn't like ego. God doesn't like divisions which are man-made, divisions based on the caste, color, creed, different religions, it's not acceptable to God. That is why there is another name of God mentioned in Gurbani many times, Murar. Murar is made up of two words, Mur plus Ar. Ar means enemy, Mur means ego. God is enemy of the ego, doesn't like ego. And there is a beautiful Shabad of Tantan Guru Amar Das Ji, Har jiyo ahankar na paavai ved kuk sunawai, ahankar muwe so vigati gaye, mar janmai phir aawai. Those who have ego, they fall into the trap of coming and going, means transmigration. Satguru, the wisdom of Gurbani helps us to enshrine true love for our Creator. And nothing is of any avail except having Vaheguru's darshan and experiencing the Creator in this life. There is a beautiful Sakhi from the times of uh, Bhagat Namdev Ji. Bhagat Namdev Ji, his Bani is in Tantan Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, he reveals that he went to a temple to worship. Bhagat Namdev Ji, he was from low caste and people from low caste, they were not allowed to enter the temple. Bhagat Namdev Ji goes to worship his creator God and said to the Brahmans who were stopping him to enter the temple that you are created by the same God as I am. I have the same right to worship the God, worship my creator, worship my father as you have. So why I am not allowed? Admittedly, I am doing, I am doing a work, doing a business, my profession is not as high as yours. It doesn't matter. If, if I'm a sweeper, it doesn't matter. But all those pandits, so-called priests, yeah, they were full of ego. And God doesn't like ego. Remember that. Moko tuna bisar, tuna bisar, tuna bisare ramaya. Oh my God, please don't forget me. You have brought me into this life. I'm here to serve you. Ala vanti e pram jo hai, muj upar sab kopila. All this ala vanti, all these priests of the temples, they are in doubt. 
they do not understand your glory, they do not understand your rules, that everyone, every human being has human right to worship God. And God is one for everyone. And they are very angry and furious with me. Sood sood kar maar uthayo, kaha karo baap beetla. Oh my beloved father, what should I do? They are calling me low caste, untouchable. And they have pushed me out of the temple. What should I do? Now, Bhagat Namdev Ji, he has that intimate relationship with Vaiguru. He is talking to Vaiguru. And then he hears Vaiguru's answer. Vaiguru replied to Namdev Ji that when you die and you come to me, I'll give you the mukti. I'll give you salvation. Bhagat Namdev Ji speaks back to God. This is a communication. Simran is communication with Vaiguru. Mue hue jo mukat dehoge, mukat na jane koila. God, if you give me the mukti, the salvation after the death, who would understand that you are capable of giving the salvation? E pandiya moko teed kahata. Teri pe teri paj picholi hoela. E pandiya moko teed kahata. Teri paj picholi hoela. Paj means honor. Why, Guru? If you do not give me the mukti now, if you don't empower me now, then who will honor you? There will be blemish to your honor, your strength, your glory. Now this is very, very important. The situ situation we are in today, or anyone at a personal level, but people might be feeling very, very subdued, depressed, not happy with their lives. Talk to Vaiguru. Prayer is the most important weapon for everyone. You can't pass your command to God. Saib seti hukam na challa. Kahi bana ardas. When you are in trouble, not in trouble, every time, every second, we should be talking to Vaiguru. We should be praying to Vaiguru. Vaiguru, you can help. You are most powerful. You are the emperor of emperors. Tum ho sab rajan ke raja. Ape aap grieb nivaja. You can uplift and give glory to poor people like me. Now, Bhagat Nam Devji now talking to Vaiguru. Tu jo deyal karpal kayat hai, at puj payo aparla, Vaiguru, you are so merciful. You are so compassionate. You are so kind. And you are full of power. Your power, your glory is unrivaled. You are supreme. Now, what happens now? When there is ardas from heart, there is a true prayer from the bottom of the heart, Vaiguru listens. And Pagat Namdev Ji records that evidence. Fer diya dehra namme ko pandiyan ko pichwarla. The gate of the temple went around and faced Pagat Namdev Ji. And the, all the pandits, now they were at the back of the temple. Those pandits, those egoistic, people who had authority. They were right inside the temple. The temple moved and they were moved out of the, driven out of the temple. Back of the temple was facing them, whereas the gate of the temple was facing Pagat Nam Devji. This is the power of faith and prayer. Satsangha Ji, we all need to pray. If world is unable to give justice, Vaiguru will give us justice. Give everyone justice who is standing on the true path, who is following Vaiguru's hukam. 
ਤਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਹਰਕਿਸ਼ਨ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਹੀ ਬਿਕੇਮ ਗੁਰੂ ਐਟ ਦੀ ਏਜ ਆਫ 4 ਐਂਡ 1/2 ਇਸ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਇਸ ਇੰਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਬਟ ਇਨ ਵਾਇਗਰੂਸ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਇੰਪੋਸੀਬਲ a 4 and a half year old child becomes the guru he becomes the leader of the world tan tan guru har krishna sam maharaj now he is blessing the sangat in delhi where people were suffering from the epidemic of cholera chicken pox etc guru maharaj at that time made a pond and washed his feet in that pond the water turned into charn amrit guru maharaj did the katha of the qurbani people listened to the katha people listened to the meditation of akal prakh vai guru they had that charn amrit and they became healed before tan tan guru har krishan sahab maharaj he left this world physically he said baba bakale which means next guru is going to be in the village called bakala and he referred to baba means because guru tegh bahadur sah maharaj was his grandfather like now people went to bakala now this is amazing power of ardas now and this sakhi really really touches me all the gursikhs when they went to the village bakala they could not find the next guru they could not find the next guru because there were so many people there faking to be the guru they were claiming they are the next guru and these people are like opportunist and there are so many of them even nowadays it so happened that makhan shah lubana a trader he was bringing his merchandise by the boat and there was a storm in the sea his boat was wavering and he is about to drown he remembered his forefathers advice that whenever you are in trouble always remember guru nanak dev ji he did a prayer gurunanak dev ji i'm in trouble i need your help now there is a faith there and there is a prayer remember these two important things when you pray with faith sincerity with willingness to follow vaigur sukam then prayer comes true makhan shah lubana he did his prayer with pyar there was no choice otherwise he would drown all the people on the boat including himself they will die now this dukh became the medicine for him to meet the guru this is very important to understand now makhan shah lubana is in trouble because he is in trouble he remembers the guru and that applies in our lives as well sat sangha ji we don't want to remember guru we don't remember god when our life is comfortable which is unfortunate then comes the trouble and misery then we start remembering guru then we start remembering god we are in trouble please save us but still if in trouble we remember why guru that's a blessing because there are a lot of people who who resort to drinking they become drug addict because of the problems in their life if a, a trouble if a suffering brings you close to the guru that suffering is god given that's a real real blessing now makhan shah lubana in his prayer he he said i'm going to give 500 gold coin to guru nanak dev ji maharaj please save my boat and his boat was saved he land, landed on the shore very safely now he is looking for the guru 
where is Guru Nanak Dev Ji? And people told him, Guru Nanak Dev Ji's ninth embodiment, we don't know the name either. Guru Harkishan Sah Maharaj said, Baba Bakale. We can just guess that it must be Guru Tegh Bahadur Sah Maharaj, but the only word he said was Baba Bakale. Baba is a respectful word when you want to call your grandfather. Now Makhan Shah Lubana goes to the village. There are so many camps, so many dere, and every dera leader is claiming to be the guru. Like today, I'm bigger sant, I'm the best sant, I'm the supreme sant. So Makhan Shah Lubana wanted to test everyone. He started giving five gold coins to every person who was claiming to be the guru. And no one spoke anything. He tested all 20, 30 who were camping there. In the end, Makhan Shah Lubana thought, none of them is true guru. Because I made prayer that I'm going to offer 500 gold coins to the true guru. None of them is true guru. Then he asked people around, is there anyone else who is spiritual? And people said, there is someone, he's called Tegh Bahadur Ji. He does bhakti in that little house. If you go in that little house, his wife, Mata Gujri Ji, he guards the house. If you can speak to her, she may let you in. When Makhan Shalwana went to the house, Mata Gujri Ji refused him to see the Guru. But Mata Gujri Ji, when Makhan Shah Lubana, he was pleading to see the Guru, she went in and asked Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj. Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj said, let him in. When Makhan Shah Lubana went in, he placed five gold coins in front of Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj, turned around to leave. Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj spoke, said, Gurmukh Pyarya, you promised for 500 gold coins, how you can leave? Just placing five gold coins here. Makhan Shah Lubana was shocked. He got on top of the house because he was so excited that true Guru has been found. Sasanga Ji, you can tell who is true, who is not. People are going to the deras, the palm readers, so-called fake babas, without any gyan, just to fulfill their worldly desires. Sasanga Ji, abhanasi prabhman mein rakh. Keep the immortal Lord, imperishable Lord in your mind. Manu ki tu preetyag. If you are really, really listening to the Gurbani Vichar today, Start believing in the formless God. Don't place your faith in the human beings. You deal with the human beings for the Sangat, to acquire the Gyan, because in the Sangat, you enhance your knowledge. Knowledge to become closer to God, who is formless. Abnasi prabman mein raak, manu ki tu prityag. Forsake the love for the human beings. That's the only way to get in tune with the Akal Prakvai Guru, your creator. Makhan Shah Lubana, he was so excited. He said, Gurladore, Gurladore, I found the true Guru. All the people gathered around. And Makhan Shah Lubana, he went down and he got hold of Guru's feet. He said, Guru Maharaj, thanks for saving me. Now, there is an example from history. In 1912, there was a big ship which was constructed. Its name was Titanic. Everyone knows about that. Titanic ship started from Southampton in UK. And on its way to New York, it hit the iceberg. On 14th, on 14th of April, 1912, around 12 o'clock on 14th of April, in the middle of the night, 
it hit the iceberg. Ship was quite big. And it, everyone on the ship had around three hours to run for their life. One third of the passengers, they were able to go into the evacuation boats, the life, life boats. But two third, around 1500, they got killed. Now this ship was only three hours away from the actual help. There was another ship in the ocean near New York who said that we can help you, but we are four hours away from you. And people on Titanic only had three hours. So help was too far away. What I'm trying to say is that Makkhan Shah Lubana, when he prayed, there was no ship around. There was no help around. He prayed to Satguru, and Satguru saved his ship. This is the power when you have faith in the imperishable Vaheguru. Vaheguru gives the power, empowers the people to help you. Because in everyone there is Vaheguru. People come to help you. In this case, Guru Maharaj, Guru Tegh Bhadasa Maharaj himself, he saved him. How he saved? Guru Maharaj knows. Because Guru Maharaj, Tantan Guru Tegh Sahib Maharaj, Tantan Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj, he was embodiment of God. He could do anything. Now it is very important to understand, God cares for all. Let me repeat the message. God cares for everyone God has created. Works in everyone's life to do what? To bring everyone close to Him. Because God loves everyone. When people on the earth, they pray with faith, with devotion, God manifests in, through, in his, uh, through His own devotees. Or God Himself comes in the human form, like Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Aap Narayan Kalatar Jagme Parvareo. Vaheguru manifested Himself in the form of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and came to this earth for the savior of the world. It can be very instant. In the case of Parlad, we all know the history. In case of Makkhan Shalubana, the Sakhi we have just shared, it can be instant. But then God has his own timing. When the Kashmiri Pandit they came to Tantan Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Maharaj and told him that their faith, the Hinduism, was in danger. Aurangzeb, the Mughal emperor, he was converting everyone into Islam by force. If someone refused, was assassinated. Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Maharaj went in deep meditation. Now, it is the same Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj who represents God, who is the embodiment of God, who saved Makhan Shah Lubana's ship from sinking. Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj is in deep thought. He is communicating with Akal Prakvai Guru. Tan Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj who is only 11 year old, his son, he comes to his father and says, Pitaji, why you are so worried? And Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj is in communication with Vaheguru. Said to Guru Gobind Singh Ji, to stop this injustice and tyranny and this conversion, someone very holy has to give his life. This is God's will. Now Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib Maharaj, he had all the powers, he represents God. But now he is prepared to give his life, shed his life for the sake of humanity. Guru Gobind Singh Ji replied, who can be more holy than you, Father? Pitaji, jao, apni kurbani deo. Go and sacrifice yourself. What was the reason? 
when there is a very very unkind and cruel leader and there is a cruel authority sacrifice of a holy person saint brings the revolution there is a beautiful shabad which reveals that divine principle sant ka nindak raj te heen those who insult and harm the saints saintly people their kingdom is taken away sant ka nindak dukhiya ar deen those who harm the saints they become miserable and they become poor and that is exactly what happened when guru teg bahadur sahib maharaj he was assassinated in the chandni chowk his qurbani his sacrifice brought the revolution where aurangzeb who was the cruel ruler he wanted to convert everyone into islam make one religion from the two religions hinduism and islam there come the khalsa panth the khalsa panth sikh dharm it is originated the foundation of khalsa panth became firmer the khalsa panth which was initiated by tan tan guru nanak dev ji maharaj in 1469 the foundations are getting stronger sat sangha ji tan tan guru gobind singh ji maharaj at the age of 11 he took the charge he became the guru and he took he he was able to bring injustice to end he wrote zafar nama to aurangzeb that cruel emperor that although you have killed my family although you have killed my father i lost all the material but vaiguru had sent me to this world to take away your kingdom because those kingdoms are eternal where there is compassion and you resorted to cruelty you resorted to unkindness your kingdom is taken away and satsang ji this is again a message for the authorities and people who are in power to come to senses because vaigru's rule is true vaigru's darbar is true sacha aap sacha darbar but on the other hand satsang ji guru teg bahadur sahib maharaj gives his supreme sacrifice he is a true renouncer jeevan mukt along with guru teg bahadur sahib maharaj his three very close guru six pai sati das ji pai mati das ji pai dayala ji they became martyrs as well in front of guru teg bahadur sahib maharaj the idea was to scare guru teg bahadur sahib maharaj with the qurbani with the martyrdom assassination of his guru six but guru teg bahadur sahib maharaj when he looked at his guru six he conveyed the message with his eyes that you stay firm in your faith don't waver don't try to show any miracles i can show miracles i can escape this qurbani this martyrdom but i am not because this is vai guru's hukum sat sangha ji similarly guru arjan dev ji maharaj who is embodiment of the almighty god akal prakh vai guru who has composed the beautiful gurbani that gurbani that gives strength to the people that gives honor to the honorless gives the strength to the meek tantan guru arjan dev ji maharaj himself communicates with vai guru accepts his bana his will sits on the hot plate this month is the month of martyrdom guru arjan dev ji maharaj he was martyred on 5th of june in lahore maharaj sat on the tatiyan tamiya when sant miya mir came to guru arjan dev ji maharaj and said guru maharaj please get up i have a say 
in Jahangir's court. I will abolish this assassination. Please get up. And Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj smiled at Mia Mir. Mia Mir is a Muslim fakir who has, who, who, who had the very, very deep friendship with Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj. And Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj said, this is Vaheguru Sukham, I have to accept. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj is one with Vaheguru, gives his supreme shahidi. And Guru Maharaj was the first Pratham Shaheed of Khalsa Pant. Sasanga Ji, doing Satguru Seva is not easy. Let me share with you Guru Amar Das Ji's Shabbat, beautiful Shabbat. Satguru Ki Seva Gakhdi, Gakhdi means difficult, very, very difficult. The service to the Guru is so difficult, you can only serve the Satguru by giving your head. Sir Dija, Aap Gawai, forsake your ego, give your head and then you can serve the Guru. Shabad mile ta har mile, seva pave sab thai. Once the ego is gone, then you merge with the Shabad, the Anhad Naad, Anhad Bani. Shabad mile ta har mile, then you experience Vaheguru. Har means Vaheguru, immortal God. Seva pave sab thai, then your seva is pravan because you become fearless. The life is nothing for you because you are one with the immortal God and you have become immortal. Although you are living, but you have no fear. In the end, to sum up today's talk, Satsangha Ji, God, Vaheguru, manifest in the Khalsa. Khalsa means a person who is in tune with the Shabad, the Divine Word, the Anhad Bani, is one with the Vaheguru. With his words, with the mind, with the action, serves Akal Parak Vaheguru. Khalsa represents, Khalsa represents Akal Parak Vaheguru, is an agent of Vaheguru. Khalsa Akal Parak Ki Fawz. Whatever Khalsa does is in will of Akal Parak Vaheguru. Khalsa is kind, compassionate, truthful, beyond the rituals. People have, people are so picky nowadays. With all the food, the outward appearance, they got themselves in the knot. Khalsa is above all the rituals. Khalsa is above all the params, doubts. Khalsa is fearless. Khalsa is compassionate. And because Khalsa is connected inside, Abhanasi Prabhmanamai Rak. Khalsa always is in tune with the Shabad. It's like transistor. It's like radio or television. When television or radio gets tuned to the same frequency as transmission at which program is being broadcast, you get the picture, you get the audio. Similarly, once you get in tune with the Shabad, you get wisdom of Akal Parakh Vaheguru. You get the qualities of Akal Parakh Vaheguru. And you represent Vaheguru. And you are the true Khalsa. Where we are going to demonstrate, in London, there's a demonstration where all the Gursikhs from different parts of UK, they are going to get together on this Sunday to protest against the violation of human rights in India. Sasanga Ji, this is my view. We will be spending minimum 100,000 pounds for, to take the Sangat there and to organize this event, the, which is fantastic. We need to tell the world that the human rights have been violated. Now, this is my personal feeling now. We need to pray to Akal Prakh Vaheguru because Justice is going to come from a Karl Prakvaiguru who is formless, not from human beings. When we pray to a Karl Prakvaiguru, Vaiguru will empower the human beings to change their thinking. Try to understand the philosophy. Abnasi Prabhmanmay Rak Manuk Kitu Pritiag. 
ਸਰਬ ਕਲਾ ਭਰਪੂਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਬਿਰਥਾ ਜਾਨਨ ਹਾਰ ਚਾਂ ਕੇ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਉਦਰੀ ਹੈ ਨਾਨਕ ਤਿਸ ਬਲਿਆਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਮਾਈਟੀ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਬਾਓ ਟੂ ਐਨੀਵਨ ਲੈਟਸ ਪ੍ਰੇ ਟੂਗੇਦਰ ਟੂ ਕਾਲ ਪ੍ਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਐਮਪਾਵਰਸ ਦੀ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਟੂ ਮੇਨਟੇਨ ਦੀ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਨੋਟ ਆਸ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਫਰਮ ਪੀਪਲ ਟੂ ਮੇਨਟੇਨ ਦੀ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਡੇ ਵਿਲ ਕਮ ਰਾਜ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਆਕੀ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਕੋਈ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲਸ ਆਫ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਹੈਵ ਫੇਥ ਇਨ ਅਕਾਲ ਪ੍ਰਖ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ who can turn an ant into such a powerful being can destroy millions of army niki kiri mai kal rakh hai pasam kare laskar kot lakh this is the faith matter of faith now sasanga ji second request who are spending at least 100000 pound to organize this event on 10th of june on sunday fantastic how about those families which are still suffering because of the events in 1984 we should collect the same amount to help these families and also we need to have future strategy to educate our young generation and be unified so with these thoughts pulla chokka di maafi pyar na fateh sanji karni ji wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fateh